Hello everyone, welcome back to Pabli Connect. In this video, we are going to learn how to create Instagram posts from Telegram. Here, my objective is that as soon as I will receive a new image along with a caption on my Telegram group, automatically the same image should be shared as a post on my Instagram account. So how we are going to automate this entire process? For this, we will have to set up a connection between Telegram and Instagram and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of Pabli Connect. Now here we have Telegram in our trigger and Instagram in our action. So we are going to connect both of them by using Pabli Connect in order to automate this entire process. And to learn this entire automation step by step, let me take you all to my screen. In this video, we are going to learn that how can we automatically share Telegram post on Instagram. So let's suppose I have a makeup studio and for which I am also running a Telegram channel which contains, which includes my team members. And to promote my makeup studio, I also share images or content related to makeup on my Instagram account regularly. And now I want that as soon as my team member is going to send an image along with the caption on my Telegram group or channel, automatically that same image should be shared along with the caption on my Instagram account okay so we are going to create an automation for this by setting up a connection between telegram and Instagram and that we are going to do without any coding or programming skills with the help of this software that is named as Pabli connect okay so Pabli connect is an amazing automation software which allows us to connect multiple applications and automate our processes without any coding or programming skills now this is the home page of Pabli connect where we can reach directly by tapping this URL pabli.com slash connect once you will reach here we can find two options sign in and sign up for free so if you are an existing user you can directly click on sign in but if you are a new user you have to click on sign up for free button to create your free new account also when you will create your account you will get 100 free tasks every month to explore this amazing software and to test multiple automations now as an existing user i'm directly clicking on sign in this is the all app section where we can find all the products which are offered by pabli to create this automation we are going to click on access now so let's do that and it has taken us towards the dashboard of Pabli Connect. Now here on the dashboard, we can find all of our workflows which we have created. And we can also create folders here to save the workflows. Okay. So as you can find, I have saved a lot of workflows in my folder test integrations. Now to create a new workflow, we have to click on this create workflow option. Let's do that. And here a dialog box will appear in front of us. It is asking us to provide a name to this workflow. So let's do that. Create Instagram post from Telegram. Okay, so after giving the name, we can also select the folder in which we want to save the workflow. So from the drop down, I'm going to select this test integrations folder and now we will click on create. As we do that, we can find that two windows are open in front of us, trigger and action. Now, what are trigger and actions? Trigger and actions are the two main concepts or the two main principles on which the entire automation runs. Here, the trigger says when this happens and the action says do this. That means the action is a response towards our trigger. So whatever we are going to select in our trigger is going to command the entire workflow and the actions are going to follow that command. Therefore, we can have only one trigger in any workflow, but we can have multiple actions as we want. Now, in this workflow, we are going to take Telegram in our trigger and Instagram in our action. Action. And we want that as soon as a team member is going to send an image along with the caption on our telegram group, automatically that same image along with the caption should be shared as a post on my Instagram account. Okay. Now here we can find that our action is a response towards our trigger as when the image is received on telegram, the same image is shared on Instagram also. Okay, now let's start creating the workflow step by step. First of all, you will select our trigger application and that is telegram. So let's do that. And now we have to select the trigger event. Now what is trigger event? Trigger event is the event on the happening of which the workflow is going to start. So set webhook or watch updates will be our trigger event. Now let's click on connect. And now from the given options, we need to click on this add new connection to build a new connection with telegram bot account. Okay. So here, if you already have an existing connection, you can also go with that. Now, after we have clicked on add new connection here, we need to provide that token from where we are going to find that token for that the instructions are provided to us here. We just have to follow these instructions step by step, and then we will get the token. So I'm going to take you towards my telegram account. And here we have to search for bot father. After coming here, we have to click on this start button. And then we have to send a message over here that is new bot. Now it is saying, all right, a new bot. How are we going to call it? Please choose a name for your bot. So we need to choose a name for our bot over here. So let's say the name will be Instagram post. So it's saying good. Now let's choose a username for your bot. Now here recently we have chosen the name for our bot. Now we are going to choose a username. And it is given that the username must end with underscore bot. So let's say my username will be Instagram post bot. So it's saying username is already taken. So let us try another name, new Instagram post. 
underscore bot and yes here we can find that this name is selected and it is saying done congratulations on your new bot you will find it at this particular link and here use this token to access the http api so this is our token let's just copy it and we will go back towards fabric connect and paste it over here done so in the same manner you need to find your token now let's click on save and here we can find that our telegram bot is successfully connected with public connect so basically we have set up a bot on our telegram account whenever a new image will be received from a team member on our telegram group that response should be captured here in public connect with the help of that bot okay now here we need to click on the save and send test request button and it is showing waiting for webhook response that means now we have to do a test submission so we will send the image along with the caption on our group for that first of all we need to create one group so i'm going to create a new group over here okay new group and we need to add our bot which we have recently created into that group so that it could send the message towards public connect so this is the bot name instagram post and i have added it okay now we will go back and now we are going to give the name to our group new instagram post okay now i'm going to create the group and here the group is created we will go towards the member section and here we can find that the group contains two members uh, me the owner of the group as well as the bot which we have recently created now we need to provide the admin access to our bot so that it could send the message towards public connect and that can be done with the help of the mobile application of telegram so let me provide the admin access to my bot so i have provided the admin access to my bot and we can find the admin is given over here now we will go back towards public connect and here the test response is received so we are going to click on this recapture webhook response and now i'm going to send a file here on my group and you will see that without any manual efforts the response of that file will be automatically captured here in public connect so let me attach a photo over here so this is the photo i'm going to give the caption as let's say welcome to the world of glamour so let me send the image so i have sent the message now let's go back towards public connect and here we can find that we have received the response in the response we have received all the details related to the image update id photo width photo height file unique id file size file id width height and other details okay and along with this we have also received the caption welcome to the world of glamour now this means that our connection between telegram and public connect is successful now the next thing we want is the download url of the image through which the url through which we are going to share the same image on our instagram account and we can find that we have not received that url in the response so we are going to retrieve the url with the help of the file id okay for that we have to once again select telegram in our action step so here i'm going to search for telegram bot once again action event will be get file okay so here we are going to select get file let's click on connect and you will go with the existing connection only as we have already built the connection let's click on save and here once again telegram bot is connected with public connect so let's move further here we need to enter the file id which we have received and and it is given that the file can then be downloaded by the link so the link is given we have to use this link in order to share the file on an instagram account so i will tell you that later first of all let us enter the file id over here which we have already received from our earlier response so we will simply map the file id now what is mapping mapping is inserting data from previous step here our previous step is given and here are all the details we want to map the file id let us select it and it is mapped now when we have mapped this id it has become dynamic and now it is going to change with each and every response so now whenever a new image along with a caption will be captured from telegram automatically the file id will get replaced and the new file id of that new response will come here in in the place of this okay so therefore we have mapped the data but instead if we will enter it manually by copy and pasting then it would have become static and then it is not going to change with each and every response therefore in order to automate the entire process we have used mapping now let's click on save and send test request button and here we can find that we have received the response in the response we have received the file path so by using this file path and this link now we are going to get the download link of this particular image so let's move further here because we want to share the image on our instagram account let's select action step as instagram we have clicked on this add action step button and now i'm going to search for instagram in my action application instagram for business let us select it and now in the action event we need to select publish photo click on connect and now we will click on add new connection to build a new connection with instagram for business account we will click on connect with instagram for business 
and our authorization has become successful so because i was already logged into my instagram account as well as my facebook account the authorization has become successful very easily now we will move further here we need to enter the details in these fields in order to share the image as a post on our instagram account so first of all it is asking us the account which we have to use so which is already selected michael caris this is my instagram account the next is the photo url what photo you want to share on your account okay so here we need to enter the download link of the image which we have received okay and for that once again i'm going to take you back towards the previous step from where we have received the file path so here we can find that the download link of the image is given we have to use this link for downloading the image we will simply copy it and we will go back towards instagram step and here we are going to paste it in the photo url field okay now it is given that we need to enter the token over here the bot token which we have recently created from telegram so we will go back towards telegram and we will go towards bot father and this is our token let us copy it we will go back towards fabric connect and in the place of bot token i am going to enter the bot token okay so this is our bot token the, now the next is the file path so we have already received the file path from our earlier response that is from get file response so i am going to remove this existing data from here and i am going to map the file path which we have already received okay done so this is the download url of the image now here in the url because we have mapped the file path from our previous response it has become dynamic so now with each and every new image automatically the file path is going to be replaced with that new file path and in this way we are going to automatically share all the images which we are receiving on our telegram group on our instagram account okay now whatever data we have entered manually is going to be same each time so this link as well as the bot token is going to be same each time because we are going to receive the image on single group only okay now here is the caption what caption you want to give to your image we have received the caption also from our response this is the caption welcome to the world of glamour let me select it and it is mapped okay once again because we have mapped this it has become dynamic let's click on save and send test request button and here we have received the response we have also received the id over here so let's go and check on our instagram account we will refresh the page and yes we can find that a new image is shared over here so let me open it and the caption is welcome to the world of glamour this means that our workflow is perfectly successful and we have successfully built a connection between telegram and instagram so now whenever we are going to receive a new image on our telegram group automatically that same image will be shared as a post on our instagram account so let's check this workflow once again here i'm going to send one more image along with a new caption i'm going to give the caption as let's say launching a new studio okay and i'm going to send it so the image is sent along with the caption and now we will go and check on our instagram account and you will see that without any manual efforts automatically within seconds the same image along with the same caption will be shared here also let's refresh the page and yes we can find that a new post is created over here let me open it the caption is launching a new studio this means that our workflow is running perfectly fine so let's go back towards public connect and we will summarize what we have done here in the workflow so we have taken three simple steps trigger and actions in trigger we have taken telegram bot and in action we have once again taken telegram bot as well as instagram for business and we have connected all of them by using tabli connect in such a way that now whenever we are going to receive a new image on our telegram group or channel automatically that same image will be shared as a post on our instagram account in the same manner by following the same steps you can very easily create this automation and with this you can regularly share post on your instagram account without any manual efforts within seconds okay so this was it in this video i hope this was helpful for you thank you for watching Not only these applications, but you can integrate many other applications by using Pabli Connect. Now, if you have any doubt, you can directly reach out to us at support at the red pabli dot com. If you want to ask any query, you can reach out to us at forum dot pabli dot com. And if you want to ask any pricing related issue, then you can directly reach out to the website given over here. Now, if you find this video helpful in any way, do not forget it to share it with your friends. And also, please like our videos and subscribe our channel to learn more such automations.